What if I were to suggest that you play a key role in the awakening world? And that you are watching this because you have heard the call. We can start right now by opening our hearts and minds. Welcome to the awakening world. Namaste, everybody, and welcome to The Awakening World. I'm Love Coach Scott Katamas, and I really want to welcome everybody in our Zoom room. This is always one of my favorite times of the week, the Saturday morning early Zoom room show, where I get to see a lot of our regular friends. And once again, thank you, John and Lynn and Leif and Marlene and Eleanor, Joy, Jeff, Kathy, Debbie, all of our friends that come on in early. Uh, and we've got something very special for at least one of you. Um, today's, tonight, this whole weekend's topic is all about healing. How to have greater, deeper connection. And so uh, in the early Zoom Room show tonight, like right now, in a few minutes, we're going to bring on a wonderful healer, um, uh, Pia Avia. She's been trained by the Twin Ray, and she's going to do a personal healing on one of you. So if one of you are willing to turn your camera on, come on into the Zoom room and receive a healing from her, please send me a message in the chat box. Send me a chat box and let me know. Um, and while you're kind of contemplating and tuning in what that might be, uh, I'm going to introduce my co-host for the week, for the evening. Uh, this is, of course, Jennifer Cahill. You've seen her perhaps on the shows before. And I get to work with her two weeks in a row. She <laughs> Yay! How does it get better than this, Scott? <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love collaboration. So welcome, Jennifer. Thank you so much for being with us. Yes, thank you so much, Scott. It's such a pleasure to be here again with everyone. And this time, gratefully, I do not have COVID. So I'm very thankful because I remember the last show we did, we did the show Healing from the Inside Out back in February. And I think I was sitting here with like a fever and I'm just like, okay, just breathe. So that's the benefit though of all of these beautiful healing techniques and why I'm always happy to advocate and support is because with everything going on in the world right now, whether it's emotional or physiological, it's so important that each of us has tools in our tool belt to connect to our highest and best selves and the health and wholeness that resides within each and every one of us. Yeah. And, and we're living in a time where there's so many different healing modalities. It's, I mean, boy, you know, I think to just 200 years ago, you know, people were like reliant on one semi-educated doctor with a very limited perspective. And now we just have access to so many different ways to be in tune with our body, to heal our body, to everything from homeopathics to the extraordinary Western med medicine needed if there's an, a big emergency, um, preventative. It's really, a, it's remarkable, it really is. 
Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, they're what's called complementary and alternative medicines are burgeoning right now. And there was a book I recently started reading um, about acupuncture that even talks about, you know, 40, 50 years ago in the 1970s, acupuncture was frowned upon by most of the world. And now you see acupuncture, chiropractics, and energy medicine is coming up in the world right now. And I think we're all looking for alternatives of how can we heal ourselves? All of these modalities, whether it's chiropractic or plant medicine or energy medicine, it's about connecting to the energy that's divine within ourselves and activating those energy channels. And that's why I'm so happy to be here, Scott, with each of you and each of you out there to share the wisdom from all of these beautiful practitioners and musicians, because sometimes we've all had that happen where you can have an existential awakening just from listening to a piece of music. And so I invite everybody as we go into this weekend and into tonight's show, to open our hearts and to ask that the divine is going to guide us to whatever that deeper sense of healing and intimacy is that we need and to be able to receive and to reflect that healing, not only for ourselves, though I would invite everybody, for anyone who's struggling out there, keep the other people who are struggling, keep the world in your hearts so that today's healings, experiences and meditations and music isn't just for us as individuals, but it's for all of us as a whole, because that's where the real deep healing comes from. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you. Well, I'm going to bring on um, our first healer, um, and she is coming to us from Iceland. I really love when we have people from all over the world watching and all over the world being with us. And it's not like Jennifer's coming to us from Portugal. Um, so mm. we already have <laughs> multiple countries represented. And I'm going to put the full spotlight on Pia Via. And she is a highly intuitive being. And she uses this gift of intuition in her mentorship. And she has trained with our beloved twin Ray to do KES. That's the Christic Energy System Sessions. Um, and she's going to do at least one and maybe two or three, depending on how long they take. Um, and uh, Omashar, our beloved house musician, has volunteered. So I'm going to bring Omashar on also. Um, and Pia, would you be willing to share with us a little bit about the work that you do and what Omashar might be experiencing in a moment? Yes, I would love to. What an honor to be here today and to assist one or two or three people with a KS Healing. KS is a Christic energy system that I have learned from the founders, Sananda and Shekina, the twin ray. And um, well, I used to do more of the coaching in the past, but when I started to listen even deeper to my soul's calling to learn the KS system, uh, things got very much easier than before. So it is. Um, such a beautiful system to use and it is just so divine and heavenly and to be honest this is uh, the most how to say the most pristine and purest energies that i believe that we can experience and receive so yeah i would be ready to begin with a healing and let you all experience these energies even though there's just one person who's get to receive it, I'm sure if you all are ready to just go within and feel maybe for a moment, the energies, you all get to experience it on some level or layer. Yeah, so I would be ready. So who's going to be the first one? Uh, it's Omashar. He's on camera with me. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So go to speaker view, I, and that way you'll um, be able to yeah. see what's happening. Omasha, okay. So, Omasha, I invite you to go even deeper into your heart. And I invite you to set an intention for the holding, the healing that you would like to receive. And if you would like to share it with all of us, that is okay, but you don't have to. Whatever is feels more comfortable for you. Um, I'm happy to share. And the um, 
I have, um, I'm experiencing this kind of this underlying depression and uh, <clears throat> the last couple of years has unraveled my life pretty much 98%. And, um, and I've been left sort of um, reassembling my life. And I've been a, a, mus a traveling musician for uh, many, many years. And um, <clears throat> however, everything's been stripped away from me and I have no, I, I still have a sense of an identity as a musician. However, the rest of my life is like, it's not there anymore. I mean, it is, but uh, it's left me feeling quite discombobulated. And when I wake up in the morning, I feel quite, uh, I don't want to get up. I don't want to come into the world. And uh, after two or three hours, I'll, I'll do my practices and I go, oh, actually, it's quite good. The sun's out, everything's awesome. Um, but it takes me a while to get there. So I'm just dealing with this, this, this grief and this, this um, um, kind of low-level depression somewhere in me, even though at the moment I'm feeling awesome, but I can also tune into that. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, thank you for sharing. Okay, so I invite you to close your eyes and to go within and just for a moment, let everything fall away. Everything that you have done so far today, everything that you're planning to do on later, just let it all fall away. And go deeper into your heart space. And just be open and receive, okay? And I will begin now to clear your field, starting with your Urstha Chakra, clearing the field all the way up to the Soul Star Chakra. I will now move on to another protocol that is called the Akamic Clock. And I will begin now to use that to clear what needs to be cleared, what can be cleared today. Okay, show me where the first layer that needs to be cleared. Okay, begin with the clearing process. And return, beloved Omasha, back to 12 o'clock now. And I want you to visualize for a moment to connect with the center of the universe, a local universe with Lanakeya, and allow the energies to come into your crown, into your heart, and also make sure you're fully grounded and connected to the crystalline core of the planet and the crystalline grit. Beautiful. So is there another layer that needs to be cleared? Okay, begin with the clearing process and return Omasha back to 12 o'clock now. another layer that needs to be cleared. This is complete. Okay. Just receive, receive, receive.
And now I'm going to perform a protocol on you that is called Soul Lines. And I will begin now. Skeletal structure to bone to cranium, spinal column to spinal nerves, muscular to ligament, circulatory and lymphatic system to venous and arterial, heart to lung, breath to blood to brain barrier, organ and endocrine system recalibrate, immunity system and blood chemistry upgrade, central nervous system to parasympathetic to sympathetic to vagus nerve balance now. Okay, beloved, I'm not going to seal your field and I invite you to slowly return back. So how are you feeling? Um, uh, good. It's a little, you know, quick to bring myself into talk, but I, I was feeling on the inside as you were doing the clearing it was clearing, but I also noticed the more the clearing, the light was coming and the more my mind tried to rabble. <clears throat> and then you said a few words and I managed to get past that. And the last bit that you did, I felt the twin ray come in. And, uh, and, and just as you were up in the cranium somewhere, they just said, just let it go. I went, okay. <laughs> and then I felt whoosh. And so anyway, that was my synopsis for this moment. Thank you so much. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> my pleasure. Thank you. Mm, beautiful. Yeah, thank you. I think so. We have time for one more. Um, and we've got like nine minutes. So Jennifer has volunteered. So I'm going to bring Jennifer in to connect with Pia. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Scott. And Pia, I was feeling your vibrations, even though you were doing it, uh, you know, for other people, it's like you can just tap in. And I, I want to acknowledge your power, Pia. I could already start to feel it just as you were tapping into that energy. So thank you for the grace with which you heal. Mm. Yeah, you're so welcome. Everyone, you're so welcome. Okay, mm. so I invite you to close your eyes and to go within. Make sure you're fully grounded and connected to the crystalline core of the planet and to the crystalline grid, as well as to the center of the local universe, Lanakeya. And just know you are fully centered and balanced now. And if you would love to share your intention with us, you can do so. My intention is to clear fears there's a lot of beautiful projects and things I'm involved in. And of course the mind comes in and says all the reasons things can't be done. And that, you know, the projects that I'm working on can't be brought to the world. Some of them, which are pretty big for the entire world. And so it's just about releasing and trusting and letting go that everything's going to work out in the highest and best good of myself and humanity. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Mm. Okay, I will now begin to clear, sweep your field, starting with the Urstha Chakra.
Allow your body to fully relax now. Allow your body to soften more and more. Just let it all go, let it all fall away. Yeah, there's nothing to worry about right now. Just let it all fall away now. And you might want to take it in a deep inhale. And when you exhale, just imagine you're releasing all the fear. You don't need that anymore. You can just let it go now. You're fully held and supported always and forever. Okay, I will now begin with the next protocol, the Akkamic Clock. So show me what is the first layer that needs to be cleared. Okay, begin with the clearing process. And return the beloved back to 12 o'clock for spiritual order. Allow yourself to receive now, receive and receive. Okay, so let's see what else are we going to use this one? Okay, so I'm going to use another protocol now. Okay, begin with the clearing process. Mm. And bring the beloved into the highest timeline reality now. Is there another clearing needed? Is it complete? Mm. 
Okay, I feel the energies might continue to work on your field, but how are you feeling? Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much. I just saw sparks of kind of stardust and light and saw them forming and unforming. And it, it had me cry a little bit earlier. So that was very beautiful. Thank you. As I have felt a deep release. I really acknowledge and honor you, Pia. Thank you. You're so welcome. What a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you for offering this. I mean, it's, it's so beautiful. And and I wish this for everybody. My uh, business partner, Moon, and I, our dream one day is that every single person in the world that re instead of reaching for aspirin, we'll call our favorite energy healer or do an energy healing session on ourselves. So I just really am so grateful to have met you, Pia. Thank you. And thank you, Scott, for this beautiful show and space that you create every weekend. Mm, my thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Well, we're going to see much more of Jennifer throughout the show. <clears throat> Pia, thank you so much. And... Uh, you know, of course, one of the things that Pia and myself and many of our audience members have in common is that we love the Twin Ray. Uh, we love Shakina Ma and Sananda G. I was texting with them this morning. They know that Pia was going to be doing this healing process. And um, so a couple of things. Pia, I'm going to go to your website. Um, tell us a little bit about your relationship to the Christic energy system that's what you learned through the twin ray um that's kind of the healings that you did tell us a little bit about that about what that really is and and your availability yes i would love to so um, before i uh was not using the christic energy system i was always depleted or mostly depleted after sessions so the Christic energy system actually saved my life <laughs> because I was just giving, giving, giving um, from uh, an empty source, so to speak. And uh, so that Christic energy system, actually, it is really attuning you to let the Christic energies work through you. So there's never, ever, like I never had an experience where I did not feel good after a session. Mm -hmm. never and also it is truly you know an understanding comes with that system that whenever i give a session i automatically receive mm -hmm. so it brings that higher wisdom of that there is always this constant flow of energy mm. beautiful yeah. well again a reminder <clears throat> her website is wake up your soul creations.com it's a beautiful mouthful wake up your soul creations plural dot com and that's where you can learn all about the work that she does uh, uh, gift yourself with the KES session or even three um, and I also we both want to really honor and acknowledge our beloved twin Ray um, and actually uh, they were so inspired by her being on the show that uh, we're talking now about doing an entire awakening world weekend of them introducing some of their students and of course their work as well. So uh, to learn more about the Twin Ray, just go to twinray.com and then you can learn all about the Christic energy systems that they teach that we see Pia Avia having you know, demonstrated for us. And um, I, I wanna say that I've been taking the Miracle Mentorship Program I'm 66, I've been around the block. I'm very snotty about who I put my time and energy into. And I learn as much from the Twin Ray as I have from any teacher, any of the amazing people. And I've studied and worked with Ram Das and so many of the people you've met on this show, some of them I've known 30, 40 years, like Michael Beckwith and Marianne Williamson, and they're all beautiful. And I've learned as much from the Twin Ray as I have from anybody. They're beautiful. So, Pia, I'm already a minute late for starting us on Facebook. Thank you so much for being with us. And I know that uh, hopefully we'll have you on the show again soon. Thank you. All right. This is the end of our early Zoom room.